everybody this is a video on how to come back from a very very bad start in the jungle and transition into dominating the jungle uh, dominating the game sorry and winning the game so this is a lower elo um, I am a diamond jungler and this is about gold <clears throat> this is a video to kind of show how to come back at low elo because a lot of times players tend to struggle with being able to come back after a very bad start especially now in the jungle um, so this is just kinda help you out so right now we are invading I'm playing Silas right now so Silas has a very very bad um, start clear he needs a lot of help in the early game uh, for him to be able to actually do well um, as you can see, the other team went through the other way as us, so we didn't see him walk into our jungle. Now, my Camille is going to be going top, my Aesol is going to be going mid, and I blindly walk into my jungle. As you can see, there are multiple saplings are waiting and ready to go. Walk in, and I'm dead. Now, with any other champion, I would kind of like say, oh, okay, you know, I, I died, whatever. Um... You know, I just go either take my red buff or go take hit the enemy red buff. But the problem with Silas in the early game is he is a very, very bad start just because his autos are doing like 50 damage per auto. And also his cooldowns are pretty high in the early game. So on top of that, they take my, my blue buff. So now I am forced to go take... And I know that they took my blue buff because uh, first Maokai shows mid with blue buff coming from my, my side of the jungle. Uh, this is a good play by my my Iranian soul, flashing, forcing the Nico into the Maokai, into the tower. Um, don't be afraid of using your flash to secure a kill or to get out. Um, it, blowing a flash is, you know, better than blowing a kill. So, I just finished my wolves. I see that Maokai walked back towards his blue side. Always... Um, when you're playing jungle, always be looking at the minimap. This is also a thing that will really, really help improve your gameplay. So, if I do the Fog of War, whoops, just just for my team, right? After this happens, where uh, Maokai ganked mid. Uh, let me back up. Oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> So after he ganks mid, I'm clear, I'm still clearing my wolves. I'm I'm watching mid the whole time because I don't need to be watching. I see him walk towards this part of the jungle, and <clears throat> so I had in my mind, if he's walking to his side of the jungle to clear his camps, that means he's leaving these camps up. Uh, yeah, so he's leaving the raptors and uh, red buff up, and Silas does these two camps the best out of all the other camps just because of the um, <clears throat> red buff is a lot less tankier and raptors i have the hunter's machete so i heal off while, while i'm killing him so i know this i go towards his bottom side um luckily he actually goes straight to his raptors um and i see that i know that my mid lane has prio so he could come help me if i needed it so I see him, and then I, I pick a fight. I kind of trolled right here, thinking I had um, my, my E, but he kind of entered into us, got him a solo kill, and then I was able to to get Nico's flash. Now, after this, don't go back into your jungle and clear your jungle. Your jungle is always going to be there. His jungle is not. So he took my blue buff, and so I am technically a bit less xp because he took um my red buff and buff cost more than raptors or wolves so i know that if he spawns and walks to his red buff by the time he gets to the red buff he i will already have it but if i just goes to my my red buff he would have both of his camps up both his buffs and then he would three buff me meaning that he took three out of four buffs away from me so Instead of going back into my own jungle, I go into his jungle and I take his red buff. As you can see. Now watch. He he was 
gonna come my way, but he pinged that I'm there and kind of just left. Now I go take Scuttle since it's up. My Balling gets um, Draven gets a kill, but Jen gets a kill as well. Maka is just doing clears. Now we're just doing regular clears. This whole time that I'm doing clears, I'm looking at the mini map. So I see that mid lane is starting to get to a fight. So I start moving towards them. So that that's a, one big thing about jungle is you need to always be looking at the minimap while you're doing stuff. You gotta be watching all three lanes while watching your lane at the same time. Now I know Maokai is doing ra uh, Scuttle right here. That's why I, I ping it on the minimap because I know that this is up and he just hit this plant. And right now, my mid lane still has Pryo. Even though top lane doesn't have Pryo, my mid lane could rotate a lot quicker than Teemo can. So I go for this play. Even though I haven't taken my red buff yet, I still have his red buff. So that means I'm still stronger than him because I have red buff while he has blue buff. And red buff dueling is a lot better than blue buff. So I go make the play. I'm not look right here. I'm not really looking to fight though. I just want this scuttle. Because yeah, mid lane has power, but he's very low. And also after getting the two kills, he has yet to back. So that means those two kills that he's gotten doesn't mean anything because he hasn't cashed in on those two kills. So I'm not looking to fight. Here, if I go to, to fight... I lose the small lead I got from this play over here because I don't want to give him anything after me starting a bad start. <clears throat> so because of that, I just kind of force him off and he unfortunately got the smite, but he starts fighting for some reason, A soul comes in and we get the kill. Now I did not want to fight, but in this elo, in gold and silver, Players are very, very aggro. They don't want to give stuff up. They don't know when to give stuff up. So there, <clears throat> I didn't smite because i pretty sure I didn't have it. And so, since he gets it, he thinks, okay, he got the, sm uh, the smite, now he's stronger. But he didn't uh, realize that my mid lane has prio and could rotate. Yeah, Timo's coming in from top lane because he has prio from top lane. But the problem is, is Aesol could rotate a lot quicker than Timo because Aesol has the, the little passive. Um, while... The flying passive or flying E, while Timo has to run down. Now, Aesol gets another kill, so now it's three kills. I see Timo coming in, he flashes and kills me. That's fine. Even though I gave a kill, my Aesol lives, who has the big shutdown gold, the, the 150, <clears throat> and also Timo just blew his flash. And then you just fly away. Now, <clears throat> even though that was a bad play, but I got Aesol the kill, and also <clears throat> I'm, I forced Teemo's flash, which led to a kill in the top lane. And this all started because I knew where the jungle was. A big part in as jungle for as well is tracking the enemy jungle and knowing where he is at all times. I'll be making a video about it later on, but essentially just think of where you would be on the map. And see where they ganked and where they can gank. I'll go more de a death about it, or death about it, but for now, it's just this. Now, he just took this vision plant, so he's on dragon. I actually did not know he was on dragon, so they walk over, they rotate. Uh, the problem is my bot lane has no prio. They died again, so the Jin is much stronger than the Draven. So if I do rotate, and also Nico's in the river, if I do rotate, I die just because... I'll be 4v1, my bot lane and mid lane can't collapse. Now, they go mid lane, and I see that this is a perfect opportunity to just come in and grab a, a quick little kill. And this is just trying to help my, my mid laner. I would suggest, if you're doing camp or if you're doing anything, drop what you're doing and go right to the fight. Because right now with jungle camps, they are very, very bad compared to like some mid lane CS XP that you could possibly get or a kill. Now there, I rotated and got my first kill. Now I'm two and or one and two. And again, my top lane got a solo kill, mainly because team had no flash. <clears throat> and yeah, and he has red buff from the first kill. Now here, um, I just reset after um, getting my camp. Because I know that my buff is going to be spawning and his buff is going to be spawning soon. So, because of that, I know he's going to be where I took his buff. So, I back, reset, get some items, and get ready to, to possibly fight. My ASOL has a 2-level lead 
up just because I saw, just because he blew his flesh here and wasn't afraid to blow it and got a kill off of it. And also, I gave him a kill here when I invaded the Maokai knowing that he was going to be here and also a kill right here. Now, he's two levels on the Nico and just gets the bully here all he wants. Now, I take my blue buff. I'm looking to go into his jungle. In the jungle, you always want to try and counter invade or counter jungle in low elo. <clears throat> Players get very, very tilted when you counter jungle them, and especially if you kill them while, while doing it, they'll start blaming their team, not help coming to help them, and will get very, very angry. So, I have this pink, or yeah, this pink is down, so I know that they won't see me walking into the jungle. <clears throat> I take this camp and just take his red buff as well. Right now, I actually don't know where he is, just because I don't know why he wouldn't be in his bot side. So I go take his, his red buff, and now I am a level lead on him. He's taking Skrull, that's fine. I see Nami just kind of walking into the jungle, and I kind of just blow her up. Um, so I get not only do I get a kill, which helps my bot lane, because now they're in a longer 2v1, and Jin cannot back, even though he has mana. If he backs, he loses this very, very big wave. I get a kill, I get red buff, and Jin is in a very, very shit spot. In the jungle, you want to just try and mess up the enemy as much as you can. So now, I know that Nami just respawned. She has Mobius. She will be getting to lane very, very quickly. So, to screw up this Jin even more... I walk into this bush, and I would recommend doing this strat a lot. If I do this, oops, my bad. If I do this, they can't see me. Even even though that this ward is here, I hug this wall right here, and since I'm hugging it, any vision that they have over here is useless. No one would be warding in this bush at nine minutes into the game, so this is a perfect play. I know that I just blew up Nami right here, so she's very squishy, and I can solo kill her. My, th their jungle is lit up like crazy, so if I see Maokai walk into the jungle, I will know exactly where he is. I know Nami's coming back from base, <clears throat> and I know Jin can't help at all because he's out of mana, and he, is, he hasn't backed in quite some time. So, I go into this bush, I wait for Nami to come back, and I pounce. Kill her again, and then since it's 3v1, we just go for the, the um, tower dive, and we get a double kill. Now, I see that a soul is running, but <clears throat> I won't be able to make it in time if he if he does start fighting. It would have taken him shorter time to get to us than me getting to him. So instead, I just go and take my my tower. This one, a soul kind of sh probably should have just walked around, but I mean, it's fine. Camille gets another solo kill, and now, after all my minions have died, I walk over top to, to go help him. That's kind of unfortunate. I get there a bit too late, so I can't really do much. So I just stop the, the minions from hitting the tower, I think. No, I don't. Okay, so again, I know that Maokai was going to go into his bot side, or top side jungle. Because he took his, his Raptor, or his Scuttle, or Herald, and went straight to mid. And I saw that he didn't have blue buff around his waist. And I know that his blue buff is up because of the timer. So, because of that... I think I go. No, I don't. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, 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 you know I do. So I walk into his jungle. I was a bit too late, but I was able to take something from from his camp, which is a very, very valuable camp. Gromp is basically like golems. If if you guys jungled last game or last season, you want to prioritize Gromp as much as you can. Now here I'm <clears throat> looking to see just to stop this wave from hitting the tower. Um, so he starts chasing me. I call over my, my mid laner to come and try and help me. And I, I'm just baiting him. See, walking back into him. Just so he could walk over. And we get a kill. I think we get a kill. No, no, I died, but, he, but he, he, he kills him, I think. Maybe? Yeah, okay. So, that was kind of a misplay by me for dying. I should have just walked away and let uh, Asol finish him off. But it's fine. My, uh... A soul gets another kill. I'm pretty sure from Nico, and oh yeah, Camille comes over and get, and kills Nico. Now at this point, I'm f we are 4k up in gold. Um, 
yeah. yeah. So they kill Nico, and fortunately, Balian dies. They kind of overstayed after killing Nami. And Jin gets a double kill, I think. That's interesting. Ooh. Anyways, yeah, so, so he does. Um, but right now, we're 2k up. Um, and it, the game started off with a very, very shit start. Right now, Maokai is 0-2. Two. two deaths he's gotten was from me invading him and his, his, you know, parts. Now here, I know I could take this fight just because I have Aesol to come help me if I needed it. And also I have 6. So we get the easy kills and we get Dragon. Because right there... Maokai was like below half, Jin was full, but Jin is an ADC, ADC is a very, very bad role right now, and my Aesol is very, very strong, he's 4-1, and one, and I, at the time, was 3-3, three and three with my full item and Hexac Revolver. Hexac Revolver on Silas is a very big power spike, just because the um, it synergizes really well with your W, and your passive auto attacks, so I know I could take any fight, I take Maokai's um, R, stun Jin, jump on him, and just kill him. In team fights, you need to know who to prioritize. It is better to prioritize Jen, who is full HP, who can kill me, instead of the Maokai, who is low HP and is not a threat to me. So that's why I instantly jump on Jin after taking uh, Maokai's R, kill him, and then uh, kill Maokai after. Now, I just take this dragon, I believe. Yeah. It came very, very close. So I had to flash, but it kind of works. What am I doing? Okay, hold on, what happened? Sorry. So, <clears throat> I kind of greeted jumping back into Nico, um, but it's fine, I guess. Draven should get a kill right here. Yeah. Gets cash out, and now my, they could just do whatever they want to do now. Unfortunately, top lane got solo killed. Um, but yeah. This one, I don't really know what's going on. They should not be taking this fight. Ace old TPs though, and I guess it works out. I think they... Yeah, they killed Mommy, I think. But yeah, I mean, <clears throat> this game, now we're 4k up after a very, very, very shit start for me. Just because, you know, Silas not having a leash and also losing a buff from me. Um, with jungle, you kind of lose your power around the 20 to 25 minute mark and you kind of just become um, a walking smite that's all you're going to use for um, just because of how bad the state of jungle is right now so everything you do in the early game is very very important me putting this maokai behind who is their only frontline means that i am a me and camille are able to just jump in without care in the world here, I'm kind of being a bit greedy, but I'm very, very strong. I have Sork Boots now, and I just, you know, just kill uh, Nico just for free. And then I have my Aesol right here, so I could... I looked to take a fight. It was kind of stupid of me, because um, I, I didn't know where Jin was. Uh, but right there, I was just kind of getting greedy. Uh, I kind of, in my mind, knew that the game was over at that point. So I'm just going for plays. Um, but, you know... Only 14 minutes in, and we have almost a 5k gold lead. All because I was able to put this Maokai behind after um, watching him. Because, <clears throat> like I said, the only reason why I was able to put this Maokai way behind is because I knew where he was in the jungle. I knew that he was either going to be walking to his top side, which meant I was going to be able to get a free red buff, and then I'm talking about in the start of the game, or he would have. Uh, went to his red buff, but he would have been very low, and my mid had prior, so that was a free kill. So either play that I went for right here would have been a win for me. Um, so then this all came from me looking at the minimap while clearing my camps, because in this game, especially in jungle, knowledge is key. If you know where, or if you have the knowledge of the enemy team, you could transition that knowledge into anything, and that is the best way to climb. Mechanically, like if you're just good mechanical, it'll really only get you so far into the game. But knowing and playing smart will get you way, way further into anything. So I just get soul kill. My uh, 
uh, what's his face? Asol is splitting bot side. No one could 1v1 him at this point. Maybe Teemo could, just because Teemo gets it all in his face. My bot lane is very, very strong. Nico is extremely weak. And my bot lane is just able to get kills off of having, screwing up that uh, Jin in the bot side, making him um, be in a solo lane for like two minutes, and then killing him right after. Um, so yeah. And now Nami is two levels down because of what I did to her in the jungle. <clears throat> yeah, man. The, like, this is the best way to definitely climb. Now we would just start taking fights. We're more than 10 kills up. Almost 10k gold lead. And it all just because... Um, I was able to do one small thing and look at the enemy jungle. <clears throat> and like I said, in this elo, junglers, they hate getting counter jungled. They hate it. They either start blaming the enemy team, or, no, not the enemy team, their team about, I kind of killed Draven here, but, um, they, they either start blaming their team for not helping them, or they just get tilted and they just always try and fight you off. Even though that they're they're way much weaker than you. And now the game is practically over at this point. We just get a lot more kills. I am ridiculously f uh, fed. Um, being almost two levels up from uh, Nico. Nico dying somewhere. Camille. And yeah. So yeah. That is how you come back from a very, very bad start in the jungle. Um, and this was even worse for me as a Silas. Because if anyone has ever played Silas jungle and tried to um, do a camp by yourself. It is very, very bad because you don't have the E shield anymore. And your auto attacks do like 50 damage without the passive. And your E, which is usually the first ability you start, is on a 13 second cooldown. Transitioning it into... Getting my mid laner two kills, three kills, and dominating the Maokai jungle and being up 20 CS from him and almost two levels with being 8k up in gold lead. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you guys need any other questions, my stream is Iron, Iron King without an I, it will be up on the screen right now. Uh, if you guys have any questions about jungle, f feel free to come and ask me if I'm streaming. And yeah, thank you for guys for watching, and have a good day.